Welcome to the Transform Live Show. Today we have a wonderful guest who's going to be introducing a program that may be your passion, maybe lining up with this particular program. Maybe you want to get a deep and comprehension, uh, comprehensive picture of holistic health and healing and learn from top healers in your day so that you can stop being stuck in a job or a career that you don't have a passion for. Well, if you want to become the healer of your home and your community and create a profitable online health coaching business, stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. We're going to take some a couple breaks in between here, and we'll be right, right back to introduce our special guest today. <laughs> Stop and allow me to be very frank with you guys very quickly about Aruka.com. You might be wondering, what the heck is that? You know, well, you know, maybe you wanted to be a healer of your community, or maybe within your own family for your loved ones. That was me once upon a time. Maybe you want to even make an online profitable business out of it. Well, this is your opportunity. I got a chance to talk personally with the founder of Aruka. And if you are interested in becoming a health coach, a naturopath, herbalist, or nutritionist, you will get the right program for studying holistic healing right here with Aruka.com. Go check it out. A wonderful testimonials that I got a chance to preview. I got a chance to learn the ins and out the backstory as to why this got started. One person from the founder of Cobb and Bell says about Maya, uh, who is the founder of Aruka, says that she believes in the intelligence of the body as well as its capacity for self healing. That's something we need right now um, in today's time with all that's going on. You know, we, we know that pharmaceutical drugs are very harmful for the body. Uh, doctors and dentists sometimes, you know, can, you know, they, they, they mean real good, but. You know, we, we need people who are able to heal themselves and others. So that might be you. And if that's you, go visit Aruka.com. And when you get over there, tell them that I sent you Marcus Hart. Hello, welcome back, folks. Uh, we have our guest with us today. You, you got a peek at uh, what is to come. But I want to introduce our guests and allow our guests to introduce themselves in their own words. How's it going today? Hi, um, everything is awesome. And um, well, it's nighttime now, <laughs> but um, yeah, thank you so much for having me on your show. Um, and I, I'm really trying to get the word out about our academy. You know, we have something really awesome that is transformative, you know, just like your podcast um, says. And um, I've listened to um, some of your stuff and, you know, in your, on your networks. And I was like, yeah, I want to be on there. <laughs> so thank you so much for having me. So my name is Maim. Um, it's kind of hard to pronounce. Um, so my name is Maim. Um, I'm 42 years old. Um, I have seven children. I homeschool and I'm a naturopathic herbalist and a holistic health and life coach. And, um, so we got started in 2009 at aruka.com. And, you know, from that time, I was just helping people on a one-on-one -on -one basis, mostly, you know, helping people, teaching people mostly and supporting them for um, their different types of health issues, such as like the leading killers, such as, you know, heart disease, heart disease and high blood pressure, diabetes, cancer, um, you know, whatnot. And um, also some very common things, you know, that people face sometimes, such as, um, you know, urinary tract infection and eczema and different things, you know, all these things. There's really, there's a place for the modern medical system, but really these kinds of things, like things that I just mentioned, um, really a holistic approach is needed to bring true health and healing because the, the kinds of, uh, the ways that modern medicine treats these types of chronic um, and you know recurring uh, diseases and illnesses, usually they treat it with procedures and medical drugs that only cause further problems or recurring infections and recurring problems. And that's why you know so many people are waking up 
to the fact that, you know, we need holistic health and healing knowledge. And so that's, that's um, how we got started. And, you know, why, you know, why, why I do what I do in so many health coaches and, um, you know, herbalists and whatnot, holistic minded healers do what we do. And um, so that was, in, that's in 2009. And, you know, but, you know, around, you know, when COVID hit a few years ago, I've always had people um, that asked me to teach, you know, teach them to, how to become an herbalist, you know, how to, how to, how to heal people. And I, w- I would always say, you know, no, that sounds, you know, that's, I don't really want to do that. I just like helping people, you know, but then, you know, I started um, um, getting medical doctors, you know, who I started helping and they were like, you need to teach this stuff. And so I was like, wow, you know, um, maybe, maybe I should, you know, you know, when, when you, when you get something in your life and you, you know, reject it and you reject it, but it keeps coming back, you know, it, it, it's like, it feels like a sign, right? It feels like, you know, like God, you know, is trying to wake you up and say, Hey, this is what I need you to do. I'm going to gently keep, you know, trying to persuade you. And so finally I was like, okay, yeah. If, if I have medical doctors um, that need this knowledge, then I I think I'm ready. I think I really do need to do this. And that's when I, I, you know, we shifted aruka.com from being just like a a one-on-one type of thing, um, an informational type of thing to being, um, you know, a training program and a certification program to teach people how to become healers themselves. Because that's actually what was happening is, you know, I had these medical doctors who would come to me for advice on how to help their own family and friends, you know, and one of the doctors that uh, gave a testimony that's on my website, um, you know, she's a, she's a doctor. So her family would all all often contact her for free, uh, you know, advice because she was a doctor and, um, you know, she'd give them some tips here and there. But then she, when, when she met me and she started, you know, telling them my suggestions and the things that she learned from me, she would say, oh, you know, Mime says this, and Mime says that. And so when they started coming to her, they'd be like, so what does Mime say about this? And what does Mime say about that? So they'd try to get, you know, holistic health and healing from her because she's a doctor, but they're, they're asking her to, you know, check with me um, because, you know, they got used to her, like yeah. offering my, my suggestions. Um, so yeah, that's you know, why, why we do what we do. Well, that, well, that's definitely confirmation, mine. And looking, just look, you know, speaking of like testimonies, you, you do got some wonderful testimonies. And one of your students um, says that you, someone who believes in the intelligence of the body as well as if its capacity for self healing, you, you're skilled in a wide variety of herbal remedies, many of which, you, you know, again, like, like you were just saying, you share with you know, with, with the person for free. <laughs> so like, I mean, that's remarkable uh, that, you know, you all, you, that you will go on a land like that. And uh, that's just confirmation from what you was explaining, how, you know, you felt that God was pushing you in this, this particular direction to, to, to move, move in this particular way. Uh, so, so just on your whole understanding of of the, of the intelligence of the mind and, and you, you what does make the program different from other holistic schools uh, because there are other schools out there you know many people can you know uh, see that they are but just based on like what I have read on the on, on, from many testimonies I'm, I'm, I'm seeing different patterns here of, like that there's you know, there, there's got to be some difference on what you're doing. Yeah, I, I feel like our, our program is very unique. And um, there's several there's several things that make our program unique. One of them is because of, you know, our main focus is on naturopathic herbalism, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, a lot of people probably won't know what that is. You've probably heard of herbalism, you know, an herbalist. And basically herbalism or an herbalist is that that was the healer of history, right? Before we had pharmaceutical drugs and and modern, you know, doctors and physicians, uh, the healers were herbalists, right? They they use the plants, 
in the trees and, and, you know, diet and fasting, you know, the things that we find in nature, natural things to heal their, their, um, their patients. Right. And so that's herbalism. It's like an ancient, an ancient healing heart art that's been around for thousands of years. Now the word na naturopathy, which can be hard to pronounce sometimes naturopathy <laughs> that stands for kind of like the broad range of holistic health and healing. So for example, everything that falls under, under holistic health and healing is naturopathy. So, um, you know, not herbalism is one of them. Right. And then we also have the power of the mind, you know, mindset, as you mentioned, and, uh, you know, one of the emerging fields in holistic health and healing is it's called German new medicine. And that is, um, you know, the, the link to all sorts of diseases, um, based on trauma and, um, mental, mostly mental trauma and stress, you know, for example, um, the doctor that, that is, that kind of discovered or made popular German new medicine, um, he noticed that people were dying and there was this link, you know, for example, people that were getting breast cancer, they, they had this, a lot of them had this common link, which was that they had, um, women, these, these, they were mothers and they recently had, um, a child that, that died you know, or, you know, someone, a man may, might have like prostate cancer and they also suffer the loss of a child. And so um, what he found out was mentally, right? Um, these, our minds or their minds were, were trying to make up for that loss. Okay. And what was happening is they were, the subconscious mind was developing these extra cells that were actually harmful to them and causing cancer, but the subconscious didn't think that way. You know what I mean? And so that coupled with, you know, unhealthy lifestyle and, you know, different things like that. That's like a holistic approach. I don't, I don't know if you've heard this, that stress causes cancer. Oh, yeah. 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 And so this is, this is like an example of that, you know? So as a holistic healer, I don't just focus on like, Oh, what's your diet like? And I'll oh, take this herb and, you know, whatever, you know, you have to get to the root cause and the root cause is often has nothing to do with what you eat. I'm not saying that it doesn't, but you know, that's only one part of the puzzle. You know, there's also, you know, what kind of life are you living? What kind of relationships do you have? What kind of mindset do you have? How do you, how do you process things that have happened to you in your life? You know, because stress and trauma and negative thinking it can bring your immune system down and cause all sorts of different problems. So, um, yeah. And so naturopathy would cover things like, like this, the mindset, German new medicine, um, homeopathy, um, you know, uh, aromatherapy, you know, there's, there's so many things, prayer, you know, there's healers that, that follow a very specific method of prayer to bring healing. And there's like EFT tapping and, um, orthomolecular nutrition. That's one of my favorite ones. That's basically mega, um, mega dose vitamin therapy. Um, there's all sorts of things and, and, you know, naturopathy just kind of brings, brings all of that into one umbrella, you know, so that you can talk about this vast field of holistic health and healing in one word, naturopathy. Okay. So there's, that's nat naturopathic herbalism, right? So most health coach certification programs do not teach anything that I just said right now. They don't teach naturopathy and they don't teach herbalism. What most health coaching programs teach um, is they teach general wellness and um, different diet theories. And um, what else? And then, and then how to kind of guide people and what, you know, how to encourage people in their health and healing journey, which is all good stuff, right. but it's, it's not, it's, it doesn't have the depth and the breadth that our program has, you know? And so um, that's what sets us apart. And another thing that sets us apart also is, and this is true for other kinds of holistic schools also, not just health coach schools, but, you know, schools for herbalism and schools that teach, let's say, aromatherapy or schools that teach um, um, homeopathy, for example, right? They will, they'll teach you that thing right? But it's not comprehensive. Like you might just teach, they'll only teach you herbalism or they'll only teach you homeopathy or they'll only teach you this. They don't give you like kind of like a wide 
breadth of knowledge. Yeah. And then also um, they, they don't give you a, a really strong business model to follow so that after you finish your studies, you will understand how to make money with, um, with, with the healing knowledge that you have. And so I know a lot of health coaches, um, for example, there's this one lady um, that was interested in our program. She is a massage therapist and she also already went to um, a health coach certification school, actually one of the biggest ones, probably the biggest one around today. She, she, so she, she has those things, right? So she's already a holistic healer, but she, she wasn't confident in her health coach education enough to actually do it and actually deliver that knowledge. Um, so, she, you know, that's why she was interested in Aruka.com. And, you know, I have another friend who went to the same health coach school, actually, and she finished the program. She loved what she learned, but she was not confident enough, again, um, just like the other lady, to actually become a health coach. And she wants to go on and, and continue learning, which is, which is good. I mean, it's good that we continue learning, but that just speaks to the, um, I guess just the, it's too generic, you know, it's, it's not deep yeah. enough in other schools. And also the online business model that we teach is also very, very unique. It's this very specific model. You know, that's all there's, you know, when you become a healer, um, it's not like when you become a nurse, it's so easy to get a job when you become a nurse, right? Right. Just go, yeah, just everywhere. go apply. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially right anywhere, now. <laughs> anywhere in the world. <laughs> exactly. Um, but, um, and also e even a medical doctor, I mean, there's hospitals and, and they pay really good, right. but when you become a holistic healer, um, the system isn't set up for us. Because we would put those, those hospitals and, and those pharmaceutical companies who fund the medical colleges and who pay the medical doctors. If, if there were more healers like us, they would be out of business. Oh, yeah. and, that, and that's why they don't hire people like us. And they, a lot of times they don't even allow, they don't allow this kind of um, health and healing knowledge to be promoted, to be published, to be practiced in medical hospitals or even medical journals, okay? Because it would, it, would, it would cause the system to collapse. And so that's why um, we teach a very specific business model. We teach a very specific business model that will both deliver transformative results to a health coach's students or clients, as well as sustain them financially and allow them to, you know, be able to work from home like I've been and have and build that profitable online business. Because I mean, look at you and me, both of us have an online business and how wonderful is that, right? We don't, we don't have to depend on a job. We don't have to worry about getting fired. Um, you know, we know how to, how to make money. And what I mean by make money is we know how to go out there and, and find people who need um, the transformational services that we have to offer and we deliver it to them. And that is completely different. It's like, uh, you know, it's like teaching someone how to fish, right? right? Not just giving them a bunch of information, but actually after that, teaching them how to deliver it to people in a way that's sustainable, both for the health coach and also for the person um, that they're helping. You know, that, that's truly remarkable. And, and I, I'm, you know, I definitely want to go back to what you alluded to earlier about why the a lot of these students are who who you come across who, who become your students are just out here just lost with you know with just pretty much essentially just broke uh broke people with a healthcare uh, uh, health coaching certifications and and then, then you find them and then you give them the confidence uh and I mean, you, you really did answer the question uh, quite, quite elaborately. And uh, a lot of that does have to do with the fact that it, there's, there's not enough debt in, in these programs. Uh, there's, there's um, uh, and, and when you get out here in the, the mainstream world, so to speak, uh, there's, there's pushback against, against these practices. Um, yeah. You know, uh, 
even with my experience in the VA, you know, dealing with the VA system, it's just a couple of years ago that I'm starting to hear, hear about acupuncture being offered, you know, um, mm. yeah, I mean, they don't offer it right in the hospital, they'll give you, they'll, they'll pay for it. <laughs> so, you know, uh, but you got to go through so many hoops to be able to get, uh, get those services. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so uh, setting them up for success, you made that your mission and, and, I, and I love that, you know, and, and I, don't, I just want to hone in on that, you know, even more. So is, is there anything specific that you, that you offer in uh, that as soon as they, they graduate, you know, they can hit the, hit the ground running, you know, is it like, a, you know, some, some business sense, you know, uh, some, some ways that, some things that worked with you in the past uh, yeah. as, as a coach uh, that, that you just pass along the way? Yeah. And yes. And that's part of the, um, the, the online business part of our program. The, the assignments aren't just like, you know, tests or, you know, um, uh, questions that they have to answer. It's the assignments are actually designed to help them build a business from the very first assignment. So they'll, they'll learn about like, for example, blogging and, and social media and, um, you know, they'll learn how to build a website and create a, you know, sales funnel and, you know, uh, make their own uh, art for branding and all these things. They're, 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 they're important because, you know, a brand new health coach, they're not going to have the money to hire someone um, to do all that. It can get really, really expensive. So, you know, the, the business model that we teach, again, um, it's, it's going to set them up for success so that at the end of the program, they're not just going to have a cert- certificate, like, okay, ah, you got a certificate, like, mm-hmm. nice, good for you, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, no, it's, they're going to have so much more than just a certificate. They're going to have an online presence, you know, they're going to have a following, okay? They're going to have, um, you know, people who who look up to them, you know, who, um, who have been following them along their journey as they're learning and becoming a healer. They're, you know, they're going to, they're going to learn, you know, how to have an audience because if you have your own business, that's what you need. You know, you need, you need people, you know, it's not like the medical system where um, it's like a guaranteed paycheck. You know, it's not like that in the holistic health and healing world, the holistic health and healing world. It's really like, you, you have to be like a fisherman, you know, you're going to be a fisher of men. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So let's just switch gears just a little bit. You know, uh, there, you, you got these keys to success and, you know, faith, purpose, diligence, uh, model the bastards, uh, support, joy, and peace. You know, maybe, maybe just run us through, through these just a little bit, you know, uh, especially starting with faith, you know, as, as someone who has, I guess I can say leverage faith in a way uh, to get me out of many situations. And, and a lot of our audience members out there can definitely resonate with, with the importance of faith. Uh, what, what, what does that exactly mean uh, for uh, your, for the values that you have adopted into uh, this, this school? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. I think, you know, every, Every business has like core principles that guide them. And, and, and those are my seven, you know, as you mentioned, the faith, purpose, diligence, uh, modeling the masters, support, join peace. And um, so faith, you know, let's, let's start with faith. I don't know if we have time to go through all of them, but let's just start with faith, right? So whether, whether you want to um, heal yourself or become a healer so that you can heal other people, or if you want to, you know, build a business, Or let's say you want to, you know, write a book or, you know, whatever it is that you want to do, you have to start with faith, right? You have to believe that it's possible. And then you have to believe that it's possible for you, you know, not just that it's possible, theoretical, yeah, sure, it can be done. No, I can do it. Okay. So for example, if you get a diagnosis of cancer, and the doctor tells you, oh, well, there's nothing we can do. You have uh, six months to live, you know? You can either take his word at it or you can have faith because so many other people have healed themselves of cancer, even if they were in their final stages. I'm not saying everyone, 
But there are a lot of people who do that. Okay. There are a lot of people who get that death sentence and the the doctor says, you know, there's nothing we can do for you, but yet they choose not to believe those words. They choose to have faith instead. And there are a lot of people, you know, um, that, that think, oh yeah, sure. I could build an online business, but you know, uh, it's too hard or it's too, you know, whatever it's too expensive or it's too time consuming or whatever. And, and, and so I can't, I don't have time, you know, whatever. Well, I just like to say that the online business model is probably, I think the cheapest business model to, to begin, you know, and it's also one of the most powerful. I mean, how many other business models will allow you to, like I have become a, you know, become a work from home mom who homeschools seven children and still, you know, has been running a profitable online business, um, you know, for, for many, many years. There's, I don't, I don't know of any other model that can do that unless, you know, you get famous or, you know, someone discovers you, but I, even that, I mean, that's even harder. You know yeah, what I mean? <laughs> People go for dreams that I think are even harder. I think, you know, I'm not saying that having a successful online business is a piece of cake. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying have faith. If others can do it, why not you? You know, people say they have no time. I have seven children that I homeschool. If I can can do this, you can do this. You know, um, I, I'm not a medical doctor. So, you know, if I can do this, if I can heal people and I'm not a medical doctor, why, why can't you? You have to have faith. And I think the key to having faith, for me at least, is that you have to, now that, you know, this might not be true for everyone, but I believe it's true for people who, you know, who do love God. You have to think, you know, if, 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 if God loves you and we are his servants in this world and your dream is to do something good that God wants done in this world, why would he not bless you? Why would he not make you succeed? You know, if, if, if you have a purpose, uh, um, you know, let's say you have a calling to one of my coaching clients, you have, you have a calling to help um, foster children. So of course he's going to want to to bless your venture. You know he's going to he's going to want to heal you because you have a desire in you to do his work in the world. So yeah, he's going to want to he's going to want to bless that. He's going to want to heal that. You have to have faith. And so that kind of brings us to the second principle, which is to have purpose. You have to have purpose. You have to have you know a, you have to understand why. Why are you doing what you're doing? If it's just to make money, I don't I can't help you because that's not that's not what fuels my, my business. That's not what fuels, I believe my success. I believe I've had success all these years and, and, you know, everything that I do because I do it for a very good purpose. You know, I started my first online business and I started working from home. I had the faith to, you know, quit my career at NASA. I used to be a, a computer scientist slash engineer at the, at the NASA Ames research center. And I was working on like phenomenal products and awesome, you know, uh, projects and aw- I was working with awesome people. You know, um, one of my coworkers, he was, uh, um, he helped to program the Mars rover, and it would it would collect you know data from Mars, and then he would it would bring it back to him, and he would analyze that data. I mean, how cool is that? I loved working there, but you know what? I had my calling, and my calling was to be with my children, right? And so I had purpose, and so it's like I don't care. And my husband was worried, you know, when when I when I quit my career, he was like you make so much money, you know, and, and we live in, we lived in the Bay area at that time. That's like, now it's like probably one of the most expensive places to live. It's ridiculous. You, oh, yeah. They're selling a shack for like, you know, millions of dollars, you know, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> in the Bay area. Sorry, excuse me. So um, <clears throat> you have to have purpose when you have purpose, when you have a strong, you know, desire to do something wonderful and good, then that will help you succeed. Okay. And then the, uh, the, the other thing, sorry, take a little. Okay. <laughs> other thing, another thing that you need is you need diligence, right? You need to not ever give up. <clears throat> you know, the Bible says that the righteous fails, he falls seven times, but then he gets back up. And that's the key. No, actually, what's the key there? It's not that he gets back up. It's that he needs to fail seven times first. Okay. And that doesn't mean seven and then you give up. No, you know, 70 times seven, you know, I mean, 
it just it's it's just it's just a number. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many times you fail. Every failure, you have to look at it as not a failure, but just as you know, um, a learning opportunity, something that you've overcome that will bring you closer to your goal. Because all of the successful entrepreneurs that you know, all the successful healers, even medical doctors, a lot of times they'll fail first before they they get it. You know, I mean, and for example, some of the testimonials on my website are from medical doctors and yeah. they're from doctors that have realized that the modern modern medical system is sorely lacking, you know? And so, but they didn't give up. They weren't just like, ah, forget it. Oh, well, whatever. No, you know, they kept going, you know, they kept learning and, you know, that's what we have to do. We have to keep going. We have to keep learning. We have to not worry about failures. Um, so diligence. And then um, another thing that I think is super important is that we have to model the masters. And I think that that's um, one of the keys to our school and why, you know, why we're so effective or, 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 you know, our methods are so effective is because we learn from the top healers and our business model is, I think the best as well. And I learned, uh, you know, business from some of the top people in the health and health and wellness space as well. And so, you know, when I, when I, when I look at other health coach certification programs, even the one, even the program that I studied health coaching in, they were not teaching the works of the greatest healers that are alive today. And I, and I was like, the, the first program that I took, I might've, I might've read like a few books, like maybe three or four books that were from some amazing healers. And that kind of is what started me on my path. But most of the stuff that I, that I learned and most of the stuff in, in most certification programs out there, they're not, they're not, they're not making their students drink from um, the water of life, so to speak. You know what I mean? They're, they're teaching things that are accepted and safe and they're, it's good information. I'm not saying it's bad, but they're not, they're not learning from people that are, that are, that are the heroes of today's holistic health and healing movement because holistic health and healing, it is a movement. It's not just, you know, an industry, it's a movement. Um, I want to, I want to just kind of pause there and I want to, I want to read a quote that's on, on our website. Um, two quotes, actually, one of them is from Thomas Edison. So Thomas Edison, he's the famous inventor and, you know, he's from, you know, a while back, he invented the light bulb, right? But, you know, he was a visionary, right? He, he invented something that we never had before in all of our, you know, thousands and thousands of years on, on planet Earth. And he also talked about the doctor of the future, okay? And Thomas Edison said that the doctor of the future will give no medicine, but will interest his patients in the care of the human frame, in diet, and in the cause and prevention of disease. Now, is our medical system doing that today? Absolutely oh, not. It's, <laughs> it's all about, <laughs> exactly. It's all about pharmaceutical drugs. It's all yeah. about poisoning and cutting this and that out, things that you need. They're just cutting it out. You know, this is, we're not here. We're, we haven't arrived no. to our destination as a, as a people, as humanity, as citizens of this planet Earth. We have not arrived to our destiny. Our destiny is when we will learn, everyone, everyone will learn about, you know, what it takes to be holistic and heal. And then we can move on. You know, why do we have to keep dealing with problems that there's many cures for like cancer there, there, you know, there's all these organizations that are like, oh yeah, we're, we're looking for the cure for cancer. That's baloney. There are so many cures for cancer. You know why they oh, keep yeah. saying that they keep saying that because they want your money. And what they're really looking for is not the cure for cancer. They're looking for a very profitable cure for cancer, because in reality, the cures for cancer, like the Gershon diet or, um, you know, vitamin B17 or, you know, all, there's all different, you know, the Budwig protocol. Um, there's different ways to, to, to heal from cancer, but none of them are profitable to the pharmaceutical industry. And that's why they keep, quote unquote, looking for a cure because they don't have one that they can patent yet. And God's remedies cannot be patented. No, you can't. Every, everything that God gives <laughs> yeah. is good and he gives it for free. Okay. Right. So, yeah. And then an, another quote, quote that um, I wanted to 
say from our website is uh, from Hippocrates. So he's known as the father of medicine and, you know, all, all medical professionals, they take the Hippocratic oath, right? And Hippocrates said, he said that the greatest medicine of all is teaching people how not to need it. <laughs> and he said that everyone has a doctor inside of him or her. We just have to help it in its work. And that's exactly what a health coach does. A health coach teaches people how to be their own doctor. And that's just like, you know, just, just like a, an athlete, you know, when an athlete has a coach, the coach is not the star, the athlete is the star. And it's the same thing with holistic health and healing. You can't depend on someone else for holistic health and healing. You can only get guidance from them, get information from them, get encouragement and support from them. But if you really want to heal yourself, your family, if you really want to become a healer and build a profitable online health coaching business, you have to understand that you have to give the power to others and help them be their own doctor and doctor themselves. So I, and we're kind of running out of time. I don't know if we have time for, yeah. you know, the other three, but well, I'll just quickly, you know, run through them. You know, yes. yeah. the other you thing know, is. If you want to give us a, <laughs> those other three real quickly, that's, that's fine. I mean, because like, just listen to these, the, you know, these line up very, very, very well with like, where are we going to eventually arrive, arrive to? And these, these, these are good values to just, you know, be drawn to, you know, thank you so much for this. Absolutely. Yeah. So just the, you know, the last three um, support, join, peace. So support in, in order to have, in order to heal and help your clients heal and in order to, um, to build a business, you know, to, to have success in anything, you have to have the right support system set up. And sometimes our family and, and our friends, they will not support us in our journey. They'll say, no, 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 just take the, just take the chemotherapy, just, just do the radiation, just, you know, just do whatever the doctor says, even though you know in your heart of hearts that that's not the right choice. And a lot of times people will give in and they'll say, okay, no, I'm not going to go this holistic healing route because, um, you know, I'll make more money doing this or that, but that's what your heart is calling you to do. Or no, I'm not going to build an online business because it's a lot easier to just get a job, even though, you know, you really, you really have that burning desire to be an entrepreneur. And so if, if you don't have the right support system, it's going to be really hard. So you have to find, you know, people and mentors and, you know, groups that will help facilitate in that. Um, so, and, and then uh, joy, you know, joy is, joy is, the Bible says a merry heart does good like a medicine. And that's not just some fancy, you know, Bible verse, it's real. I mean, it actually has a physical, biological, chemical effect on you when you have joy and when you have happiness in your life. And that's the same thing with peace as well. You know, when you have peace, you know, I, I, I let um, peace has been like a, a, like a guiding force in, in my business, in my business ventures. You know, do I have peace with what I'm doing? You know, I didn't have peace at, at NASA. You know, I was like, no, I need to be with my child. That will give me peace. You know, um, I need to become a healer. That will give me peace. You know, and so I've always let that peace, God's peace, kind of uh, guide me um, through life. So, yeah, I think. You know, it, it's funny <laughs> thing about those last three. They, they really, they really cater to like the emotional and mental health, uh, mental, the emotional and mental health part of the, of the, of the, uh, of um, of uh, taking care of someone, uh, or or taking care of yourself, because uh, without those three, uh, if you yeah. don't have if you don't have support, a good support system, if you don't have joy, you know, if you don't have peace, you, know, mm -hmm. you, you usually are uh, suffering, you know, uh, rather than you know just being able to get through the pain. Yeah. Um, and it's hard. It's not easy to, to find that support. It's not easy, easy to, to, to have joy, especially if you're suffering, you know, whether financially or physically. So it's not hard to have. It's very hard to um, have peace if you're going through troubles. So we have to fight for that. We have to so sometimes when it comes to support, sometimes you have to cut people off or limit your time with them. You know, <laughs> it's not yeah, that's, easy. That's, These that's things are it's, it's, Yeah, it's not easy at all. And um and I, and I think we're, we're finding, you know, so much in uh, today's world that uh, 
uh, with with all of the the traumatic experiences that we all have shared over the over the past year, and uh, with even with the cancel culture that you know we we, we have to separate ourselves from so much you know just to find that peace, uh, just mm-hmm. to you know find where our tribe is, uh, you mm-hmm. know, uh, so that we can uh, all you know experience this joy that you know that you know we all are trying to reach. So, uh, you know, this is wonderful. So, I, I just want to read, like, you know, uh, from you know, Doctor what Doctor Pissarro said um, about you. Uh, and he he said that you know you helped on multiple occasions with life lessons, health counseling, and business insights that you know are coming from a person, you know, a person with great knowledge and wisdom. If you have the pleasure of getting to know her, you know, you will agree. This is great stuff. Um, so, uh, Mayan, uh, you know, why don't you tell us how, you know, we can, you know, be a part of, like, you know, what you got going on and what the website is and, and all that good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so if anyone is interested in becoming a healer, um, all you have to do is go to our website, www.aruka.com, A-R-U-K-A-H.com. There's a lot of information there. And then you can, uh, you can book a call, get on our email list for more information. Just click the, you know, become a, there's a become a healer button and there's a, like a, a webinar there and different things, you know? So, um, yeah, I, I, I'm really looking forward to, um, to, you know, if any of your audience is, is interested in becoming a healer, I know your, 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 your show is about transformation and that's really, that's what healers do. They help bring transformation to people. Stand it, uh, and no requirements, right? No, no prerequisites <laughs> required. The requirements are well. It's only in English. I, sometimes okay. people from other countries, you know, they're interested, but I don't have the capacity to, you know, to offer it in different languages. And also, if you're if you're in a country that does not have access to like Amazon.com for books, then that's also a problem. So I'm trying to focus on like the U S and Canada and, and places where you can, you know, get books from Amazon and um, yeah, just like a desire and a passion for people, a desire to, to, to heal, to heal others, help others heal. Outstanding. Uh, well, we, we thank you so much uh, for stopping by uh, and, you know, I don't. Us. I don't think I gave the website yet. I, can oh, I say that real quick? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> so it's 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 <laughs> www.aruka.com, and it's kind of hard to spell. So I'll just spell it a r u k a h dot com. A lot of people forget the h. A r u k a h dot com. Aruka dot com. And I yes, got it. you got it. <laughs> I got it. So, and I said your name correct to, to uh, Maya. Uh, so. This is awesome. You know, Mayan uh, Vega uh, stopping by and telling us about aruka.com. Uh, you know, make sure you check it out. It will be in the episode description. Uh, if you happen to be watching the playback of this, uh, I want you guys to suck up all of this knowledge uh, that was uh, shared with us today and um, in her bringing us closer to uh, just this health healthcare, uh, health coach um, certification program. Um, I'm excited about it. I, I definitely want to uh, find out more. Uh, I want to learn some Hebrew from her because <laughs> she does speak Hebrew. Uh, so, uh, so I'm going to be connecting back with her myself. Uh, so make sure you do the same as well. Hit up the website. And if you have any further questions, um, you can drop comments. Uh, but, you know, I suggest you check out the website. Um, there is a contact um, us page on there. I believe so. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. Well, there's a button and it goes to a form and stuff like that. To, and then right. you'll be able to schedule a call. So, yeah. 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 So, yeah, you can yeah, uh, have a scheduled call. That's even better. <laughs> so, better than an email. Uh, so, uh, uh, check it out. Uh, get, uh, and if you um, definitely get lost, um, I will help directly uh, direct you there. Uh, it's just been an awesome show. Again, I'm your host, Marcus. Uh, this is a transforming live show. The show is to make real life and business transformation. Harnessing the power, optimism, hope, and faith. Until next time, many blessings, peace, and lots of love. Thank you. Bye. Shalom. Shalom.